Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I am Madden Gaming, and I am back with another Madden 24 reaction. And this one, we got EA just updated Madden 24. Okay, okay. So we got an update for Madden 24. Be interesting to see what they added and what they changed. Uh, Madden 24 just came out, so uh, be interesting to see what what kind of updates they made. Hopefully, pretty nice improvements and nice changes. But before I get to this reaction, I need you guys to like this video right now. Subscribe to your board if you want. More more reactions just like this one and my favorite dude is jump right into it let's go let's see what they got and we also got a bunch of news on some of the upcoming future updates that should be here in a few weeks now, course, okay dropped just over a week ago so it's about that time where the updates are going to start rolling out we've got players switching teams we've got rosters being finalized before the nfl season we've got the big title updates that's going to start dropping soon and of course there's always a different number of bugs and things that need to be tweaked and addressed as well so let's first start with the update that went through late last night and then we're going to also talk about some oh this was last night especially addressing some things that you guys have been asking me about now we've got some roster moves that are finally official in the game dalvin cook is now official. damn that's crazy to see the uniform player as well he is the with the jets for this year's game and we didn't really know about that because he was still technically a free agent so he is the only x-factor player on the jets with the first one free x-factor he's also got energizer which is okay he's got jukebox which is the best ball carrier ability this year by far juking is really good in this game so dalvin cook having jukebox really Really helps him out a ton and he's also got balance beam We've also got Ezekiel Elliott officially on the New England Patriots. He looking good at Patriots gear. I ain't gonna lie. I'm come. Hey, I'm coming around to it. I see some interviews and stuff. I'm liking it. Upgrade him back to superstar pretty easily. They're probably gonna have to update his likeness at some point because he did just finally cut all of his hair off. Now this is an official scan with his actual hair. How it oh, that's right. He did cut his hair off. I forgot all about that. I don't know how. Like himself, but he is now officially on the Patriots. And we also got Jadeveon Clown officially on the baltimore ravens with the normal development trait rocking the number 24 which i have to say is just weird i don't like it i know the number rules are whatever now you can do whatever you want but there's just certain things that look weird and number 24 on a pass rusher just doesn't do it for me I yeah but there's also some other roster is a little weird but hey it's different list, but they did say that they updated a lot of the rosters it's not 100 percent up to date with the real life rosters that's going to happen right before the season starts because there are still some players who are free agents who did just sign the teams are also some players that retired like Corey davis who is still officially on the jets i saw that 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 was that was a crazy one that just came out of nowhere this week and the final update before the season starts now, hey if you're still here at this point of the video and you haven't subscribed yet you might as well go ahead subscribe join the family because you're basically already a part of the family anyway if you're still here that way you're up to date with all of your latest football gaming news and we're on the road to a million subs and i'd love for you to be a part of it now ea's put out some more news about some other updates that are coming and one of the ea developers has been on twitter which i mean i Sorry about that, guys. It's raining. It's storming here where I, uh, where I live at. So, apologize for that. But let's hop right back into the video. I guess now it's called X, but I still call it Twitter. He's been over there answering a bunch of questions that people have had as well. So, we kind of know what to expect in the coming weeks. He did say the bug where you can only edit players on your own teams and franchise. You can't edit the CPU players. That is going to be fixed soon as well. They're working on that. He also I didn't even know you could do that. Or the bug where you edit players' positions. Oh, that's cool. Experience and how many years they've been in the league. He said they have a fix in for that as well. He said there's also a fix coming for certain helmets that are not sitting correctly on players. It seems like that's been an issue the last few years when they add new helmets. Sometimes they don't sit correctly on the players. And I don't know what really all goes into that, I'm going to be honest. But I don't know how they keep having issues with that. He also mentioned the clothes for the coaches. I mean, like, to me, I don't really care about stuff like this. But a lot of people do. When you edit your coach or create a coach, there's not as many clothes options as there used to be. And all the coaches in the game, I think, wear the same thing right now. Whereas they used to wear different things that were more like what they wore in real life. He said with the Sapien Tech they had to rebuild all the coach models and that's why they're all wearing the same thing right now because now they have to rebuild out the different clothes for each individual character he said so those should be coming soon they just couldn't do it for launch he also i like that detail field update soon like for the giants and jets they're going to now have the logo at midfield instead of the nfl logo. Mm. That's not 
the game is that was a recent change that they made and it has not been updated in the game yet but he said that should be coming with the first or second update. that's gonna look cool he said there's a number of uniform updates that are coming because there's a couple uniforms in the game where there's a color that's slightly off or they just kind of did a part of the uniform a little bit wrong which i mean again things like that i'm like not sure how that happens because i think that's just one of those things that you just got to get right i mean it's the the uniforms that they wear but i know teams obviously they change them up sometimes year to year they'll change a color on the collar or on the side of the pants like they'll change it from one year to the next and then sometimes it's not updated right away but he said there's a number of teams that might have a color that's off here or there that's all being worked on and that's going to be changed probably in this first coming update now really quickly i do want to also mention that we are sponsored by underdog fantasy once again they've been a huge supporter shout out to underdog fantasy app but what i love most about them is their pick them post on the forums about franchise mode it said that the draft cl draft clone load issues are being worked on it says that we're aware of an issue affecting the appearance of players when importing custom draft classes and i think this also goes hand in hand with the fact that if you try to edit players in draft classes a lot of times it reverts back and the changes do not stay so that's being worked on they said that they're also working on a fix where players in multi and multi leagues were able to edit the height weight and age of players only commissioners are allowed to do that that's not an intended function and they said that they're working towards a resolution for that for the next title update and it said for the meantime if a person tries to edit a player's height weight or age it'll show up in the transactions log. and for my pc people they also put out some notes for pc as well it says hey man finally pc, PC is getting some love on our pc player community the team is aware and actively working on two key issues those two issues are related to game performance and menu lag for some players it says game performance two tips to improve the performance are adjust the frame rate from uncapped to a specific number example 60 frames per second or 120 frames per second and check performance performance in game it said also ensure the game is running in full screen under the visual settings menu and they also added an okay in order to bring the pc version of madden 24 in line with next gen console feature sets the minimum specs required has increased this year we are seeing some players that are not meeting the minimum spec requirements to optimally run madden nfl 24 you can review the specs here and the team is working on in-game feedback to make players aware so where i'll have this whole post here linked below in the description if you want to read over it and look at the specs i know when i tried running it i had to make quite a few adjustments adjustments and i don't have the best pc in the world i don't have the worst either i think i have kind of like a middle of the road gaming game c and i definitely had to adjust some settings i'll also link a video in the description under this post where there's a guy that went over the settings that he used and those are the settings i use okay for me i definitely put it on 60 frames per second i, I, I love seeing the the, the pc guy. community getting love to lower some other things like i think the crowd resolution and some other things like that that really take up a lot of resources to run so i'm gonna link that video in the description it's what worked for me so if that doesn't work for you then it maybe it's possible that you just don't have a pc that's good enough to run it based on whatever their specs are which you can look at in the other post that i'm gonna link but those settings worked pretty well for me before that i was having the same trouble though we also got another pretty significant update today that applies for ultimate team they said that mutt champs aka weekend league will be on all madden going forward so no more oh i saw i saw a lot of people talking about this on twitter entire game or x league is where the top players want to go to compete to really see who's the best online and all pro versus all madden this year is a pretty severe difference it's usually pretty different every year but this year even more so all madden gives you i don't play on any the best gameplay this year. i just play on pro because i'm not that good is noticeably a lot dumber whereas on all madden they're actually not too bad so this is actually a really good change for a competitive mode and even if you're playing franchise or anything else try playing all madden versus all pro even if you got to tweak some sliders a little bit all madden's gonna definitely give you by far the best gameplay and the best challenge this year they also brought up the madden companion app which i've seen a lot of people ask questions about that they said there's no release date yet for the madden companion app and they said they'll be sure to let us know when it's available so i'm not really have a mad with that. a madden companion app but i know a lot of people do so no release no date yet that'd be cool if they added face scans now, know about five other really big updates that'd be really cool if they added face scans to uh to the companion app like uh 2k does with, with theirs well those those to me were some really good updates um especially the, the logo changes not the logo changes but uh what he said the giant the giants one the giants one where they have they're, they're gonna have the logo in the middle that'd be cool I can't wait to see it. That'd be cool to see, man. Um, I think these changes are really cool. And I think, I think, I think people are going to like it.
but you know it's always gonna be the crowd that thinks it's it's more bugs than it is other things you know what i mean but that's gonna do it for me guys hopefully you guys did enjoy this reaction love every single one of you guys and i'll see you guys in the next one